my beautiful bookworm friends, today I have a book recommendation for you. <laughs> Let me just drink some of my hot cocoa. Mm, so good. It has marshmallow in it. It's a unicorn. In the back it says, Contigo la vida es magica. I think that translates to, with you life is magical. <laughs> I think that's what it means. That's beside the point. I just thought today, well, tonight really. It's nearly Halloween and I've realised I haven't actually done anything Halloween related. Decided, you know, tonight, let's just be spontaneous and film something. I don't read a lot of dark hor horror or gory or anything like that. But I do have some books that I thought would be really good to read on Halloween. So without further ado, let's get on with the book recommendation. So the first book or the first series I'm recommending is The Secret Circle by LJ Smith. It's about witches. A few years back there was a TV series for The Secret Circle. I love that TV series, it's meant to be a spin-off of The Vampire Diaries but they cancelled it. I was devastated because I thought that was a really really good TV series. So it's about a girl called Cassie and she's moving into a small town after her mom died and now she's living with her grandmother. She's basically not happy because obviously she doesn't have any friends there and one day she met these group of friends who are sort of like a part of a group they're like a clique and so she thought mm, maybe I can you know fit in and so she sucked into this secret circle they're basically a coven and they're playing around with magic and stuff I love this book the way magic was written the way witchcraft is sort of practiced it's so detailed rituals and their circles and calling it's just it's just really good I just love this series the next book I recommend is The Graces by Laura Eve I just finished reading this book recently although it's not for me I'm still recommending it because it might be for the younger ones out there. It's about a girl and she's obsessed with this family called the Graces. She just moved into this small town and she's finding it quite hard to make friends. What she really wants is to be friends with the Graces because they're the popular kids and everyone loves them, everyone wants to be them. Many people have been saying that the Graces are witches because of the things that happens around them. There is a twist at the end which I found very interesting. So if you, for example, love The Craft, if you've watched that movie, it's similar to that. Next book I'm recommending is The Dark Days Club by Alison Goodman, a historical fiction fantasy. I love this book because it has demons in it and it does remind me a little of the mortal instruments. Not mortal instruments, more like the clockwork um, series or oh, the infernal devices <laughs> it's set in I believe Regency era and I just love the mix of um, historical and fantasy demon side the history part was well researched and I just really enjoyed this book and I thought it was really good next book is more on the adult side of things Alice by Christina Henry this is a retelling of Alice in Wonderland but a dark retelling about Alice she was put in an asylum she doesn't remember anything she doesn't remember why she's in that asylum and then one day the asylum was set on fire or there was a fire in the asylum and she managed to escape with her friend down they go with their adventure it looks really creepy <laughs> and even the blurb what sounds a little bit creepy because towards the end it says and to find the truth she will have to track this beast to the very heart of the old city where the rabbit waits for his Alice. The next book is The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova. If you've seen Dracula Untold it explores the idea of Vlad the Impaler being Dracula. It has so many history context in this as well it's also a historical sort of fiction fantasy it's basically about a girl who one night decided to rummage through her father's library and found this ancient book and then suddenly she was sucked into this adventure where she's trying to figure out where her father is I think her father went missing or something like that. that's why she was rummaging and so she was trying to find out where her father is and then she learns all these secret history 
um, and what really happened to her mother. It's a very interesting read as I said if you're interested in vampires or Dracula in particular, Vlad the Impaler being Dracula, this is a really good read. The next book is Finny in Love by Lisa C. This is a very unusual book to recommend for Halloween. It's a love story but there are ghosts in this book. I can't really say much without spoiling. Just recommending this because if you really want to read something romancy during you know Halloween but still want that kind of Halloween element to it there are ghosts in this story that is it for me today I hope you like my recommendations please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more videos I shall see you guys soon bye bye